Alright, alright, welcome back my fellow Tarnish, this is Space Doggy coming back at you with another episode of Let's Play Elden Ring. Um, so we are currently curled up like a little ball over in Farum Azula. Uh, we just came from the Side of Grace Dragon Temple Lift, and I just basically, I from last episode to now, I just went and got my healing items back. And then I ran right back here. So what we're going to do, if you can see ahead here, which of course you can, we've got our friend Alexander. And we're going to talk to him. I feel like this game's been out long enough. It's not like I'm spoiling it, but let's just see what happens. Oh, well, howdy, howdy, howdy. Ah, I see you finally made it here yourself. The city hanging in the air is slowly crumbling. What an incredible place we find ourselves. Indeed. But that aside, incredible. you're certainly a force to be reckoned with, eh? I Indeed. doubt there's a single soul who could have handled that giant other than you. It was practically a god. Of well, course, thank you. I count myself the great Alexander among the many. Which means I've but one thing to ask of you. Would you kindly undertake my ordeal? Come and tell me when you're ready. I've been longing to fight a warrior as accomplished as you. Oh, snap. He wants us to give him a warrior's you death, ready, if then? I remember. I take it. Then let us begin. I am the great Jar Warrior. I am Alexander. Wow. Let us become one champion together. I don't want to see what his dialogue says. I didn't think we'd drain his bar of health, his HP bar, so quickly. Anything else you gotta say to me? Maybe we can punch him. Hey, yeah. All right, this is dumb. I don't know why. I'm doing this. And bam, and we got him. Oh, uh, why did victory was impossible? This oh. vessel was found lacking. It's a vessel. Kind of sounds like he's like Shabriri. Like, all right, let's talk. My thanks. I knew you were the stuff of champions. It was a marvelous battle. <laughs> I kind of take what I bequeath from inside me. All vessels are destined to one day break. But the yeah. great Alexander lived as a warrior to his last. <laughs> oh man, we're losing all of our NPCs. Oh, that's... <laughs> I forgot. Alright, Shard of Alexander, Alexander's Entrance. So, we had someone in the chat, maybe on YouTube in the comments, talking to me about... The Shard of Alexander Talisman. I believe that's what we just picked up. Shard of Alexander. Greatly boosts the attack power of skills. Shard of the late Alexander. A shattered warrior drawer. Scraps of stewed flesh cling to the shard. And tatters of ornaments can be seen mingled within the slime. Relics of a red-haired champion, it would seem. Wow. Alright. I'm kind of bummed out, man. Like... Of course we're gonna get to the end of the game. I just kind of forgot how From Software just <laughs> kills off his NPCs one at a time. From Ronnie to Alexander to uh, I think Nefali, Salavis, like, we're losing everyone. Even the loathsome dung eater. I mean, I think his corporeal form is gone, but it doesn't matter. All right, what am I talking about? We're here to become Elden Lord. We ain't got time for these feelings. No time. No time at all. Alright, let's go. Alright, so we're gonna try to... I don't know if this is the way. But... Or if it's just one of the ways. Because we have another route to take to get to the Tree Sentinel. What the heck? This path looks crazy. Okay. Careful. 
Alright, alright. Why does this look familiar? We got an item we missed. Familiar or not. Oh, snap. Ancient Dragon Apostles Cookbook 4. I'm just kind of curious here. Ancient... Oh, oh! Shoot, man! Oh, we gotta be careful! Shoot, okay. Oh, wow, where did these guys come from? Come on! Oh, gosh. That was getting a little close. I was not prepared to get jumped like that. Okay, so we, dang it. All right, real quick. I just want to see what we picked up. So it was the cookbook, Dragon Apostle Cookbook 4, Ancient Dragon Bolt Pots, Lightning Proof Dried Liver. Interesting. I kind of want to make a pot, just see what happens. Like, I'd love to do the perfume, actually. Oh, wait. Spark? Okay. You know what? Let's try one of these. Blood boil, spark, iron jar. I just want to make like one. You know what? We'll make nine. Spark aromatic. I've never really... I think this is the perfume stuff. Come on. Here we go. Alright, cool. I really am excited to try this. I don't know why, but there's something about those perfumer enemies that I find... It, I just think it's really cool. So, I'm excited. This is the first time I've ever crafted that. Okay. Where the heck do we go now? Where do we go now? Oh yeah, there's that. Here it is. Here it is. Jump for it! Somber Smithing Stone 8. Dude. Awesome. Okay. Now what? It feels like... Almost like we should jump down there. Wow. I think it's just looping us back. Smithing Stone 8. Yeah. Wow. I love that. That's cool. That's really cool. I. <laughs> I like that better than the fire pot, honestly. I mean, the fire pot's pretty cool, too. But. Alright, so we have definitely been here. So let's get the heck out of here. We've already fought this fight. Oh, shoot. Oh, man. I don't think we ever dropped down here, though. So let's do that. Maybe we did. But I, I don't remember. Circling back. Yeah, yeah came from a different direction, but we definitely... Oh, snap. <gasps> oh. Yep. Alright. Still under attack? Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, so we cleared all of this. I just wanted to get away from the enemies. But, there is one dragon left for me to take down. This dragon temple lift. But, honestly, it's like a basic dragon. It's not, it's kind of not worth our time, to be honest. I mean, I hate to say it, but we are doing a Let's Play, and I want to get this show on the road. And we have a Tree Sentinel up here waiting for us, and I'm trying to make that happen, though. Yeah, so last time we ran the opposite direction. Not today.
Tell me there's just one. There's not two, right? Kind of looks like there's a second one, but I think that's just a shield. Hello, sir. Friends? Look at that weapon he's got, man. Alright, it's not letting us uh, summon our memory tier. Wow, did not know to do that. Did not know, uh, okay, this is new. Alright, now we're ready. the move would the claymore be helpful so it seems like getting that skill off with our executioner sword is kind of tricky so let's see what our heavy claymore will do and real quick actually because we have so many points in arcane i want to see if we can lion's claw occult makes it an arcane so it makes it be an arcane but it does seem better so I think occults affinity is what we do if we were running like a pure arcane build or something I mean actually <laughs> I don't really know I just learned about occults the other day so I might actually not know what I'm talking about here um, let's put on some grease Good old fashioned fire grease. Yeah, baby. Oops. <laughs> Dang. Whoa. Wow. Look at that. Come on. Come on. Alright, heal up, heal up. Charge in. Oh my gosh. We're doing really well though. We're doing really well. damage negation might be helpful because we were handling all the attacks well other than the lightning attacks though I think I figured out at least one of them greatly boost the attack power of skills charge spells so we're gonna drop the rotten for now put on a bolt drake 
Talisman plus two. We are going to keep that fire grease going because that seemed to really be helpful. I think we can do this. If we take our time here, we don't panic. We got lucky a couple times, but those lightning attacks, man. Come on. Ah, oh, man, I hate that. I hate that I missed. Oh my gosh. Alright, heal up. Really dumb. Come on. Alright, alright. Seven. Dude, that trusty Claymore, man, I swear. Alright. Likely weak foe. Alright, you know what? Let's put a little comment down. Phrases. Don't you dare. No, we're not going to say don't you dare. Want to go home? Question mark. <laughs> I don't know. All right, let's do this. Let's do this, man. What we got now? Whoa. Oh, this guy. Who approaches distant death? Oh crap, dude. Oh. I didn't know we were going to have the beast clergyman. Just want to see how much damage one of these does. Ah, man. Shoot. That's a lot of damage with that Shard of Alexander. So screwed. Oh my gosh. So what? Major boss right after that? I mean, I guess it makes sense, but dang, man. Okay, okay, hold up. What do we Alright, we definitely don't need the lightning negation anymore. Should we get our rotten back on? Dude. I'm shocked that right after that tough enemy, we have another really tough enemy. What, dude? All right. Oh, man. Shall we try the Mariah's execu Executioners? Man, I just feel like we're not going to be able to use our skill much, which might be fine. Let's make sure no way this horseman responds, right? All right. You know... Thinking here, I'm gonna use the freaking mimic tier. Now, I'm gonna tell you why. Because I don't really have faith that we're gonna win on this try. And you know what? I pounded my head against the wall last year in 
tried and tried without using spear dashes. For this playthrough, man, let's freaking use our tools, man. I'll try Lieutenant next time. Wow. actually what am I doing Wow come on seriously Wow that charge L2 baby left trigger I should say this is an Xbox the beast clergyman he already picked a fight with us once so we shouldn't be so oh what's that oh, death. Become my blade once more. Oh. I remember this. Balaketh or something. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This sword is sweet. This might be a sword I could see us playing with if we're able to use it right after. Oh, yeah. This is a cool sword. Look at that. That's a beast, man. Speaking of this clergyman. I don't, I gotta be honest though, I don't understand how this whole death, it's like a different kind of death than the death bite buildup. It's, it's, yeah, I don't know, it's strange. The health bar looks black instead of gray or, or vice versa. Oh man. Come on. Remembrance of the Black Blade. Oh, yeah. Wow. Okay. I don't remember any of this from last year, really. Like, story wise. So that was maybe the death rune? Nice. What does this mean? Shadow of that earth tree. Yeah. All 
right, all right. I'll be Elden Lord yet, man. Oh, that's great, that's great. All right, moving it along. We had to say goodbye to Alexander, then we defeated Malekith, the Black Blade, I think is what it said. This armor set is pretty sweet. So last we checked, we were at Far Farum Azula. And now it looks like Radon's battlefield. Oh shoot, look at that. The whole sky is on fire. Wow, Ashen Capital. Dang, look what we've done. All because the Urtree spurned our advance? Like, that seemed like maybe we overreacted. Ah, oh, shoot. Okay. And Melina, we lost her. That's another NPC we lost. She, like, set herself on fire. Oh, man. It's getting wild. Oh, shoot. This is putting us at 150. Honestly, I think we need it in, a, in our vigor. Yeah. So... I think I'm done leveling up this playthrough. So anything else, we're just gonna buy everything we find. Everything, so. Oh, wow, okay, so now what? So we, uh, we definitely need to go fight Melania at some point. Um, That's the Halleck tree. Where was Furumazula? Ah, it's over here. I'm gonna take that icon off because we defeated Mal yeah, Malekith the Black Blade. Wow. Oh man. And hell. Oh, let's see what this ghost has to say. Behold, the earth tree yet stands. Tall and unwavering, mindless of the scorch of the flame of ruin. Ha 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 ha. Then we are yet golden ones. What does that even mean, bro? Okay. Oh, uh, I kind of thought the ghosts, you know, I guess they're more sentient than I realized. I guess I just assumed that their dialogue has been the same for years, you know, and I just find them. But that shows that they are awake and in a way alive, conscious of what's going on around them, you know. Runark, sweet. Seems like such a big space. I don't really know if I'm going the right way. So we're just gonna run for it. Let's see. The heck? So, okay, let's kind of recap. So, lighting this ablaze, I feel like we want to run toward the earth tree still, even though it's on fire. I'm gonna see. Kind of feels like it's gonna let me into the city if I go this way. Yeah, I'm a little lost to be honest. Here, let's try. La -di -di -da -da. Where should we go? So the Colosseum's that way. Okay, this feels right. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I am totally guessing, but this does seem to be taking us somewhere, which is good. We got a couple blood stains. Is that tree? I think we've already grabbed that golden seed. Not like we need any more. Okay, lift. Yep, this has got to be it. All right, nice, nice. Capital of Ash. Right. Jumping, oh jumping, but don't you dare. <laughs> oh man. Love it. I love all the comments. Alright. Looks like summoning 
Oh, are we about to not another boss, right? <gasps> this is Gideon. Oh, I've seen so many YouTube clips of uh, funny stuff. I knew you'd come to stand before the Elden Ring to become Elden Lord. What a sad state of affairs. I commend your spirit, but alas, none shall take the throne. Queen Marika has high hopes for us that we continue to struggle unto eternity. Hey, bro. What are you doing, man? Wow. Okay. The amount of spells he has is really impressive. He really is all knowing. You fought oh, well wow. until now. Okay, okay. We'll try that again. We'll see who best to stake America. That's what that was, not a summoning pool. Okay. Dang, Gideon. Don't make me get my spirit ashes out, man. Oh, because it's going to be trouble then. America has plans for us, he says. You know what? <laughs> Lieutenant, get him. Come on. My fellow. Dang. You fought well until now. Okay. The tennis is doing work though. Alright, alright. We're gonna slow it down. Let Latena do what she needs to do. <laughs> oh man. This is not the last time I'm playing this game. Like, I will do another. Maybe a new game plus, but maybe a whole nother new save file. And I want to do a run where I'm beating all these bosses without... Did I not grab my roots? I don't think I had a lot, though, to be honest. Oh, shoot. Oh, oh my gosh. Well until now. How embarrassing. So I want to put on some negation. Would it be magic? I think I have an all types one. Oh, that was just embarrassing. What was that? Yeah. Alright, we're not running in until we get completely ready. Okay, goodness. Okay, so we're gonna use Latena. The attack power of skills, that's good. Good. Okay. Charged. So I'm not gonna have time to really charge it. So, in lieu of the Godfrey icon, we're gonna. Vastly boost non-physical damage. Holy. I feel like the non-physical is the way to go. Because he's using a variety of things. Yeah. Okay. Alright, we're going to see if that helps us. Alright, let's do this. We're ready. We're ready. Just gotta stay out of range for some of that. Come on. Come on, Lieutenant, get him. Get him. Wow, what the heck? Alright, alright, let's flank him. No way. Until now. Oh, man. Did 
know what? I didn't know he was going to be uh, replenishing his HP like that. Okay, alright. What next? What next? We've tried a few times now. It's time to bust out the Mimic Tear. That's it. That's the move. Mimic Tear. And we're going to... In lieu of the Rotten Winged, let's, let's really... See Spell Drake plus one. Halig Drake boosts holy damage negation. I think that's gonna be good. Mm. Let's try it. Let's try it. Oh my gosh. Alright. Come on, dude. My ashes were sucking, dude. Come on, dude. Let's go. Let's go, dude. Gideon off here, the all knowing. Dude, this episode is wild. A lord. Not Tarnish even cannot you. become a lord, not even you. A man oh, whatever. Cannot kill a god. Okay. Scepter of the all knowing. All knowing helm, armor, gauntlets, greaves. Dang, bro. Dude, this is getting a little crazy. All of our, like, who's gonna... <laughs> all the NPCs. <laughs> They're all going one at a time. Oh, wow. All right, let's get the Rotten Insignia so I don't forget. So, Godfrey Icon. And then the Rotten Sword Insignia. Okay, okay. Wow, dude. Okay. This has been crazy. Alexander... Uh, Malekith, the Black Blade, and Gideon, the All-Knowing, in one episode. Oh my gosh. I can't handle too much more than this. Alright. I mean, we are moving things along. <laughs> alright, alright. All these crones and cronies. Feels like we're being kind of drawn back to the Earth Tree, right? Like, that's what it seems like. Um, what I'm thinking about doing, though, I, th I think we might wrap the episode up here before going further. Earth Tree Sanctuary. And I might just want to mark this as. You know, the explorer's fine. It's just one of the newer ones, newer sites of grace. Okay, cool. So, we'll wrap it up here. I want to go back to the round table hold, and we might actually do that to start next episode. But for now, great job, everyone. We're killing it. Guys, I don't think there's a lot of game left. Like, this has been a huge Let's Play series. Uh, part 117. Like, oh, I love it. We're doing it, though. We're doing it. So, as always, I post my streams over my YouTube channel. It's got the same handle as my Twitch. It's SpaceDoggy777. And over there, you can find all my Let's Play episodes for Elden Ring from Part 1 through this one. So, go check it out. Leave a like, subscribe if you don't, too. But other than that, folks, I will see you all next time on Let's Play Elden Ring. This is Space Doggy signing off. Peace.